And we're live. We're live! Yay! We're Woo! live! Nobody gives a shit. Hey, folks, it's uh, Thursday night. You know what that means. Uh, Murder Hobo Inc. goes live with the Cacophony Soap Opera. These are the days of Cacophony. Uh, welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the team here. Uh, speaking of being part of the team, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you're bored and you want to buy crap, it's down there at the bottom, I think. Or no. We got crap. Uh, yeah, we got crap. We got nice crap. We've got excellent crap. Uh, <laughs> if you don't, don't. If you want a face mask, we got those too. Uh, and if you want to chat with us in Discord, we've got our Discord channel as well. Uh, most importantly, however, if you want to have a seat at one of our one shots or our talk show, hit us up, mhobo inc, uh, either at Twitter or at Gmail, and we'll get you in there. Special shout out to our favorite sponsors. Pirate Dog Dice, whom we have in the audience, and of course, oddfishgames.com, uh, and good news, they did get their third show up and running for Gen Con Online, and they still have a few seats left. Uh, they've already gotten rid of 40 seats for the other two shows, and they're quickly selling out of the third. So if you want to RPG with your cat... <laughs> to get in on that. Uh, and if you want to pick up some uh, cool adventure sense uh they can do that for you too uh kyle i believe is going to showcase some on saturday do they have a <laughs> litter box adventure sense <laughs> oh i don't know but if they're listening <laughs> there you go <laughs> it's not any worse than the freaking sewer mess <laughs> uh, so take a look at oddfishgames.com pirate dog dice is etsy store is coming soon uh still trying to figure out the ins and outs of that uh folks before we go ahead and tell you what's going on let's introduce you to our cast uh up first david david who are you and who are you playing tonight hi i'm david uh if i'm not here i'm on between the rolls on tuesdays usually uh and i'll be playing zadar uh the non-binary gender fluid arcane trickster that's what we're going with <laughs> that's what we'll go with we'll go with that and who are you starting out as uh ooh, that's a good question last time it was the joan jet like uh, you know what go ahead and think about it as we introduce caitlin yeah. our youngest <laughs> but perhaps most vile murder hobo s uh caitlin who are you and who are you playing i am going to be daphne again tonight and of course it's the tiefling because tiefling die life and i'm excited i guess now it's the third time in a row we're uh, adventuring together on this so we'll see will another innocent bystander die or not Quasi-innocent. <laughs> <laughs> There's no true innocence in uh, Felbar, ever. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, normally our producer, our producer tonight, and owner-operator of at Pirate Dog Dice. Oh. Uh, Carrie, who are you and who are you playing? I'm Carrie, and I am playing Camilla, a level four wizard necromancer that likes to whack Mortimer in the nuts when she can. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That fucker's <laughs> buying a metal cod piece. And, you know, <laughs> he runs this game for me because, you know, this is the only chance I get to play, so. Aww. But we care. Yeah. We care. <laughs> uh, and, you know, if you want a spot on the show, give us a shout. Uh, we'll be sure to knock Daphne right out. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, yeah, we'll work on that. That's who was. <laughs> well, I consider uh, this. What did I say? A soap opera. That's right. These are soap. the days of cacophony. And they're horrible days. Truly horrible days. The only <laughs> thing missing are the Buffalo Police Department bashing innocent old men. Anyway, let's get on with tonight's show, which I have named Performance Problems. It doesn't happen to me, okay? But it happens <laughs> to some people, I'm just saying. Uh, tonight's episode begins with uh, these three individuals uh, enjoying a serene morning at their Adventures Bungalow, where all of the guild members in Cacophony live, except for Fomunda D's Nuts, who immediately begins to beat on the door, uh, breaking the nice solstice that these guys have enjoyed. They are sipping on their coffee, their tea, they're eating their jam and eggs. It's like a sound of music kind of moment. As Fomunda D's Nuts and... Uh, Fauntleroy, his faithful servant, burst into your bungalow, 
Brandishing weapons, screaming, are you okay, are you okay? That is how we start it. Who wants to go first? Yeah, we're okay. I'm trying to have my coffee and my cheese this morning. Hey, look, I'm cons... Go ahead. What kind of tea? tea what, what kind of tea would you like? We all know that uh, Famunda likes uh, Earl Grey, hot. It's probably a Picardish kind of thing. <laughs> I love this tea. It's from Mexico. It's got a little uh, psychedelic properties to it. Do we have that? Hints of an S. Sure. All right. We're adventurers. The, we have everything. That's, a, yeah, that's what we're starting off the day right. So. That's right. The Cheech Marin tea is what you're having. Exactly. Uh, I'm Mexico. having the herbal breakfast. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you three are surprised at uh, their their looks of concern on their face, and you've never actually seen either one brandish a weapon. Uh, surprisingly enough, Fauntleroy uh, handles his with a plum as he covers uh, Maverick's six. Uh, as Fomunda these nuts, make sure you're okay. The next thing he says is, "Is Mortimer Jace need here?" He probably wasn't. This doesn't want to hang out with me. <laughs> do you know where he's at uh, nope, nope. He's last a nap. time a dirt nap <laughs> <laughs> last time we saw him he was kind of recovering from camille's nut jab yeah yeah those nut those nuts those nuts <laughs> that's right mortimer j those nuts need uh Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I have some dire news, says Fumunda these nuts. Uh, he received a missive last night shoved under the door of the Adventurers Guild, uh, and it directly uh, threatens uh, that Mortimer J. Sneed uh, is got a price on his head. For what? <laughs> Well, as you may or may not remember, two days ago, you guys returned from the past, back to the future, uh, and the flowers have had a stunning effect on the Councilman Arawa. <coughs> He's better, right? I can't hear you. We lost your mic. <laughs> How's that? Is that yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's on me. Uh, I was trying to cover my cough. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, Arawa is uh, on the road to mending, uh, thanks to Mortimer J. Sneed's botanical uh, healing elixir uh, using the flowers that you guys procured from early days cacophony. Uh, and whoever attempted the assassination apparently knows that Mortimer J. Sneed uh has uh, somehow foiled his his or her plans uh so now we now have to find mortimer j sneed and whisk him off to safety in the event that we need his great assistance so why would they even tell us i mean is mortimer living like this double life i mean his cover is a professor as a you know on sabbatical here in cacophony um from the grand academy from the Grand Academy, you know? So uh, so is he, yeah, it's just like layers, multiple layers. Multiple layers. You've got to weave the fabric closely. <laughs> He's like uh, an onion. Famunda, <laughs> there are six of you here. Famunda be, immediately begins to dispense locations where everybody needs to check. He looks at you three and says, head up Dock Road uh, through the canyon, uh, and go to the open marketplace. See if you can find him there. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you would be familiar with this area. That was the first area you explored within Cacophony. Daphne, you would have been by there multiple times. It's the site of the open market uh, where Uma Thurman may or may not have killed somebody. We really aren't sure. There was really no trial, so we don't want to go ahead and offend, but uh, it could have been the cheesemonger dying. Uh, Fomunda, Rest in peace. Fomunda gives the other uh, Cacophony adventurers their locations, including the dock, 
uh, and the Crips. So uh, not the Bloods, though, just the Crips. Uh, so Zadar, Daphne, Camille, uh, you, you, and you head up the uh, dock road and get into the open market. See if you can find that son of a bitch. Anybody who finds him, take him to the Adventurers Guild. Is that clear? Yeah, sure. Crystal. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the others quickly go get their belongings. They get ready. They gear up. You guys, I assume, will do the same. Uh, the information of the threat wakes you up out of the pleasant morning and into action. You each rush to your rooms and gather your gear. Heading outside, the other members of the bungalow have already headed to their assigned search grids, and you began to charge up the stone stairs, I assume. You assume correctly. Everybody give me perception check, please. Perceptive, nice. I'm gonna have to change Ooh. dice already. Zadar is pretty perceptive. Seven. She she rolled a twenty-five. Did you say nine, Daphne? Thirteen. Don't give me a lower roll than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, at least. She, he's one. lowballing us now, so yeah. right, we'll see how it's gonna be. Seven. Uh, Camille and Daphne do not see it. Uh, Zadar, she, in this case, points out, what the hell is that? And coming down the carved stone steps is a cylindrical object rebounding off the wall that kind of guides you up. Uh, remember when you went back in time the first time, this is carved out of a canyon, so there is a guard wall along the way. Zadar, you notice the object careening your way. It is about yay big around. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, is it human size? Damn. <laughs> Mystery solved. <laughs> That's right. And the object in question, three, is headed right for Daphne. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Um... Dex check and go to push her out the way. <laughs> Why, yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, Zadar, you Dex check it. Daphne, uh, if you want to hold your ground, give me a strength check. Do I, do I want to stand there and get trampled on? Probably not. <laughs> 18. I don't know. So you got to go, you got to verse your verses in 18, I think, right? <clears throat> Wow, 20. Oh, shit, she stands her ground, so poof. <laughs> she, she stands her ground. The object, clunking down, sounds a lot like wood, and comes to rest up against her boot. As all three of you look down, there is a picture. It is a wooden sculpture of a head that looks uh -huh. rather familiar, and it has the name Sneed carved into the forehead. Carved in like it was made that way, or carved in like a warning. Insight. <clears throat> yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Zadar's not. <laughs> Zadar's not very wise. She rolled a four. Oh <laughs> Is it magical? Can I check that? You can check it. It's not magical. It is wood. Yeah. Uh, folks, earlier there was a picture disseminated to these guys of a wooden head, eh, possibly tribal, but fuck it, uh, we're cheap, so I decided to call it Mortimer J. Sneed's head. Uh, <laughs> it does not appear to be a warning. It does not appear to be anything other than a wooden head with a likeness to your good friend uh, from the Grand Academy, uh, but it does have his name etched in it. Uh, looking up the stairs where it came from, it came from around the corner uh, where uh, it, it seems to be a sparse gathering of people uh, are present going about their daily business to and fro. I get out my quarter staff and I march upwards. That's one. Next. Yeah. Now, uh, marching our, yeah, Zadar is following Camille up the stairs. Daphne? Yes, I'm following them, too. Uh, as you go up there, you uh, move around the corner and you find a large amount of people. And a young boy is 
looking around and he spots Daphne with the head and he goes, my head. Can I have my head back, please? That's you. How do you talk without a head? I have my head, but this one was given to me. Who gave you this one? The magician. Who's the magician? Magicians aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> the magician that chopped his head off. A local Chop. magician? No, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, like a, a fair. Yeah, like a oh, fair. That's it. <laughs> there's a fair up there. Okay. Bright lad. There we can go. I have, can I have the head back? Hmm. Let us hold on to it for now. We'll give it back to you. It's my head. It was given to me by the wizard. It rolled in poop. Let us thin it off for you first. And then Daphne. Yeah, I don't want to, I, I don't want to poop your head. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a poop head. <laughs> That's right. If you're getting if you're getting poop head, you've got issues. By the way, folks, mature audiences only. Uh, there so, you go. <laughs> so this young lad who uh, is about ten ish uh, has pointed out that some mage gave him the head. Okay, and I like make a a, a minor illusion of the wooden head, but actually Mortimer's head. I said. Did you see a gentleman that looked like this? Yeah, that's who the head belongs to. Okay, so what happened? Well, I was at the uh, the um, fair, the, uh, fair uh, mm -hmm. and uh, this wizard lady, short wizard lady, uh, asked for volunteers. And this guy, points to the minor illusion, uh, walked out of the crowd and volunteered. And... Uh, they put him on this, uh, this uh, like bench, like wooden mm -hmm. benchy thingy, and it had this thingy going up and down. And they put him through this. Uh, can you just take us there? No, because I have to get back home. Can you point us in the right direction? It's where the open market is. All right, <laughs> let's go. And okay. what is and what is your name, good sir? Uh, Smidgen. Smidgen. Okay, Smidgen. Smidgen. <laughs> if we can find our friend, you can have the head. So. Well, how do how do I know? How do when do I? How do I? Where do I? Find us at the Adventurers Guild. Yeah. Guild oh. That's what it's called. You're, you're, you, you're you'll find us. Are you like heroes? No crossovers. Yes. <laughs> no crossovers. <laughs> yeah, just keep that quiet. All right. Okay. <laughs> Mom will probably be mad if I showed up with a wooden head of some dead guy. Yeah, um, probably would. Uh, he begins to run headlong down the stairs, apparently late for breakfast or something. <laughs> uh, you guys want to keep going up the stairs? Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. keep going. Cool. Armed with the new information, you sprint up Dock Road, dodging several festival, festival goers in the process. I've got the wooden oh, head no. under my arm. <laughs> <laughs> naked. I'm da I'm doing the Heisman pose. <laughs> so, so we got John Heisman, naked tiefling, and angry uh, necromancer looking to uh, get angry. Some balls. I'm just yeah, irritated. Joan Jett in the leather cat suit doing the Heisman pose. <laughs> wow. Uh, just as you reach the area right before the plaza, you are stopped by a pair of individuals in colorful clothing. Tickets, please. Tickets. I don't know what that word means. Please explain. In order to go ahead and enjoy the festival, you are required to have tickets. Who says? How much are the How much are the tickets? Uh, the tickets are one silver piece, and they can be obtained right over there in the alley. The what alley? Really? Yeah. That sounds official. We just got into town. Uh huh. Uh, everybody, insight. <laughs> Haha, ha, finally. Uh, I hope you roll better than me. <laughs> Eleven. Sixteen. Where'd it go? Nineteen. Uh, Zadar and Camille, oh, something smells fishy here. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't bathe in a few days. 
<laughs> they're, they're just staring at you while the other two ponder life. Uh, and the alley is quite dim here early in the morning, filled with morning shadows. Uh, while you are brave adventurers, uh, something doesn't smell right. Uh, the two individuals, again, right over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going down the alley. I'm afraid we cannot let you pass. I take out my quarter staff and whack him in the head. Uh, you hear a resounding clang as his armor, uh, as his uh, robed head is dislodged. You notice that he wears a silver skull cap and he has a dragon tattoo down his neck to his shoulder. Uh, give me Arcana check. Everybody. Oh god. All the necromancer, I find that sexy, but you're irritating yep. me. <laughs> Four. Gee. Twelve. Is it a red dragon tattoo? Uh no, it is not. I got ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. Uh neither one of you know what these guys are. Uh as they remove their colorful clothing, they are adorned in gray cloaks with strange sigils on them. Uh both of them. <laughs> Whip off their cloaks. They throw them at, uh, let's see, four Daphne and two Zadar. Daphne's. I smell it. <laughs> okay, Blake. <laughs> is 18. And Zadar's is 10. Does an 18 hit you, Daphne? It does. Uh, Daphne is momentarily blinded as she is covered in colorful clothing. Everybody roll initiative. Daphne, you will be out of it this first round. Uh-oh. I just sit there smelling it. Like, intensely. Just hear... <gasps> <laughs> 15. 17 for Sadar. And Daphne? Oh, oh I saw the... I just not going right away. <laughs> 10. Uh, it smells of sage and elderberry. Yep. Uh, these individuals roll an 18, and as their cloaks come off, <laughs> these fuckers are monks. <laughs> ah. uh, and they are going to start whooping the shit out of you. Uh, we'll start with Zadar. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Uh, 17? Uh, 17. Wow. Yeah, just hits. Okay, the other one definitely misses. Uh, oh! <laughs> Natural 20 on Camille. Uh, the other one is 13? On? On Camille. Yeah. On Camille? That's 12. Oh, uh, there's some ass whooping today. Ooh, Zadar is hit for seven. Oh, geez. Uh, Camille's hit for six, uh, despite the powerful whoa. Uh, that brings us to Zadar with a bloody nose. Uh, your turn to take on the Brothers of Pain. All right, I say fuck this, and I cast sleep. <laughs> okay. So you're going to have to help me out with this. I am a total novice with this. So what do I have to do, man? You have to roll. There's a die roll there, and mm -hmm. then you roll it, and that's the total number of hit points that can be affected. So if you're below my hit points, mm -hmm. uh, it, it falls on deaf ears. Oh, okay. All right, so it's 5d8s. Okay, so the pool is 29. Uh, one of the brothers falls asleep. And that brings us to Camille. I cast Mage Armor on myself. Very good. End of round. Daphne, you... <sighs> <laughs> She's still I'm, taking it all I'm, in. I'm holding on to it, though. I'm just like, okay. 
Okay. As you drop it down, you notice, oh shit, here comes another one <laughs> uh, from the darkened alley. Uh, oh no. <laughs> the guy is, he's running, he's whipping off his cloak, and he, he's. Wah! He's gonna do the uh, showtime kick, like like flying dragon kick, you know? Yeah, exactly. Just... <laughs> uh, he is going to go after three Daphne. Uh, Daphne, uh, uh, as he launches himself, he is first going to whip out a dart uh, and then land in front of you and try and do a double fister. So the dart. Yeah. Can't use the cloak to try to get the dart? Uh, not with your initiative. <laughs> <laughs> but you can use it as a distraction uh, on your turn. Uh, 17 plus 5 is 22. The dart's going to get you. The fists. Oh, that was so close. Uh, 3 and a 6. Uh, both punches are going to miss. And I'll rule that you were... <laughs> Um, <laughs> art does get you, and that is 1d4 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Funk into your naked body. Uh, Camille, you still have one on you. That's a 5 and an 8, so 8 plus 5 is 13. Yes. Bullseye! What the five hit points of damage as these monks are starting to rail on your asses. Uh, Zadar, fortunately yours is... Uh, if you want to finish him, uh, it's an automatic kill, or you can go after Daphne's or Camille's. I don't know if these guys are just being malicious or are they reacting to our bad attitude. So... Would you like to talk to him? If they're going to listen. <laughs> okay. It's just like... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, somebody jumps out of the alley and starts punching me. Yeah, um, I know. I know. Starts throwing fists. You know? Yeah. Okay. All right. Plus, they're foreigners. They're foreigners. Yeah, they ain't from around here. Probably immigrants. <laughs> I was going to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, that they were just reacting to. Well, us. I did kind of whack the guy in the head. You did. So. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, aggression, thy name is Camille. Okay. I I say to the, the other guy, <laughs> it's just like, look, we didn't mean to start this, but tell us oh, what's yeah, going I on. <laughs> All right. She did. <laughs> and that brings us to Camille. Uh, let's see you've been whoa, whoa. I, I cast like stellar every time. oh here it comes this no, is gonna be it. no i cast ray of frost oh, okay <laughs> hit him 20 nice uh damage damage again and modifier Seven. Oh no, wait, that's a one. So eight. And where's my modifier at? Uh, on Ray of Frost, I don't think you get one. Okay, so eight. Eight damage to number two. Uh, fair enough, Zadar. That's probably going to hamper your diplomatic uh, assessment. Yeah, uh, probably. Daphne, Mr. Pajamas just jumped out of the alley and uh, hit you in the, uh, I'll say boob with a dart. <laughs> That's what you get for being naked. <laughs> so uh, would you like to talk to this guy as Zadar is doing, or uh, do you want to take the dart out of your boob and shove it up his ass? I mean, I would take the dart out and can I throw the cloak bat at cloak? back at him sure uh if you hit him uh i'll roll a deck save uh but uh he might be disadvantaged as well so go ahead and throw it at him what do i do to throw it uh dexterity modifier <laughs> try and hit him oh my god so bad a four <laughs> 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 and 
and throws on the ground, and a tear comes down my face. Yeah, it's so <laughs> aggressive throwing your own clothes at you. Uh, new round. Uh, let's see how he feels about Zadar. Yeah, no, he's going to attack. <laughs> and let's see who he attacks. Uh, odd Zadar, even Daphne. Uh, odd uh, Zadar. He doesn't like the cut of your jib, so he's going to go after you. Uh, and, of course, Camille has hers. So, Zadar. Uh, nine and nine. Uh, so, 14s. Nope. And uh, Camille. An eight and a 14. 14 plus five is 19. That gets you. Hoochah! <laughs> Uh, three plus one is four. This guy's kicking the shit out of you. Yes, he uh, is. Uh, Zadar, it doesn't appear as though your language skills have improved enough. Um, I'm still standing over the guy that was asleep, you know, just kind of straddle him. So I'm just going to go. Him? He's teabagging oh, him. I'm going to get, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give him, I, I'm going to finish him off. I'm going to go for the insta kill. So, what do I have to do? <laughs> anything but a one. Okay, anything but a one. Gets a one. Gets, gets a one, cuts his leg open. Yeah. Leans out. Okay, yeah, 15. You uh, successfully hold him up intimidatingly and go... <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of fucking cacophony. Ah, uh, <laughs> that brings us to Camille. Camille, uh... Your little lethal weapon four motherfucker is beating the shit out of you. What do you want to do? Uh... Did I have disadvantage on that roll from Ray of Frost? Oh, yes. Yes, I know Ray of Frost. You do. Hang on a second. <clears throat> Your movement speed is slowed. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's still hit because that was a 16. Okay. So you're up, Camille. But my movement speed is going to hamper me. Uh, so I got three. Damage? Or to attack? To attack. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. Uh, Daphne, your spirited display of throwing a cloak down at the angry monk's feet has done little to prevent him. Uh, but fortunately, Zadar, after teabagging the sleeping monk, has slit his throat. Well, actually, you're a chick, so Joan Jett has no teen uh, tea bag, so that that makes it even worse. So yeah. it's just it's just ego at that point. Just there you go. You don't get you don't care about your bad reputation. I understand. I don't. Okay, Daphne, <laughs> don't give up. a damn. I guess I attack. Yours or Camille's? Mine. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit. Yep. Okay. And he takes five damage. I'm like, that's what you get. You mess first. with the warriors. New round, new round. Uh, that is even. Daphne, he's coming at you. He's coming full bore. At 20 and two. Lovely. Max damage, five. I'm sorry, seven. Seven damage. Uh, Camille. A four and a two. Ugh, he must be getting tired. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> Zidar, as the blood spurts up in between your legs. Nice. Well, uh. he's, he's, he's teabagging him, so uh, you're up. Uh, <laughs> You notice that Daphne's is injured, as is Camille's, and Camille's is kind of moving a little bit slower. Okay, I start laughing maniacally, <laughs> and hope it's contagious, so he's going to have to do a wisdom save. Which one? Uh, the the one I tried to talk to. And, okay, you know. uh, wisdom save is plus two. <laughs> yeah, I know, he's a monk, but I'm taking my chances. Uh, 11 plus 2, 13. 13, he fails. He falls to the ground laughing hysterically with Tasha's hideous, or not Tasha's, which one is yeah, it? Yeah, it's Tasha's. Tasha's. Uh, Camille, you're up. Uh, you and your guy are... 
your pugilistic tendencies are going to come in handy now. Nice. Uh, I got a 11 to hit. Nope. Uh, Daphne, your guy is on the ground. You can attack him at advantage, or you can turn around and hit Camille's. I'll just attack mine. At advantage? Yeah. <clears throat> that just means I roll twice, right? Not yep, crazy. take the high one. Okay. 20 to hit. Nat or dirty? Dirty. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Roll damage. <laughs> Five damage again. Uh, you're whittling them down. Uh, new round. New round. Uh, I get a save, correct? Yes. Yeah, 14 saves. Uh, that's a 12, so I am still on the ground. However, Camille, Jim Carradine, is still <laughs> attacking you because he can't find his closet. That's a 7 and an 8, so 12 <laughs> is the best I can do. Uh, not with my armor on. Uh, swing and a miss. <clears throat> <clears throat> I, I don't do kung fu fighting. Thank God. Uh, Zadar, uh, you have Tasha's hideous laughter still on Brother of Pain 2. Uh, you can attack at advantage or you can attack Camille's normally. Uh, Camille's normally isn't really paying attention to me, right? Correct. So sneak attack? Correct. Okay, yes. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Alrighty. Oops. Okay. Come on, dice roll. Twelve. Does not okay. hit. Okay. Uh Camille, you're up. Uh five. Not even close. Uh, Daphne, your colleagues have moved on to the one behind you, or you can, at advantage, attack this guy again. Who looks like they're going to die sooner? Uh, yours has more damage. All right, I guess I'll just keep going after him then. Okay. Fifteen to hit? Fifteen does hit the monk. Nine damage. That puts him down. Wait, like down, like he's down, down, or he's dead? Dead. Uh, I his <laughs> top of the order. <laughs> uh, I am going to split my attacks. Zadar's a three plus, and Camille is a 20. Whatcha? What's up? And a one. Uh, <laughs> five damage. To Camille. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Zadar, you see the death stroke by Daphne uh, as the uh, 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 rattles around. Uh, you are up. Uh, he now knows that you are here. Okay. So, uh, Chuckles, so we got two left. Chuckles on the ground and the other guy, or she finished off Chuckles? She finished off Chuckles and okay. he finished off uh, Teabag. Yeah, I teabagged. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, at this point, I am going to reach out and touch him with uh, <laughs> Chill Touch. Go ahead. All right. And that is a 14. Nope, Hang you only on. touch his robe and give his robe frostbite. Camille, finish this guy off. I hope so. Uh, 19. 19 does hit. Mm. Yeah. Um, Alive would be good, but um, no. <laughs> I don't uh, think she, that's going to happen. She's taken a severe beating today. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't need healing for this. Four. That does not put him down. Daphne, you're up. All right, so I can attack the other dude now, I guess, obviously. 
18. <coughs> Hits. And nine damage. Dead. Uh, the blood-soaked robes of the Ta Moon Order lay in a heap. Uh, Before wow. we go away, can I skin off the tattoo? Animal handling. Wow. I applaud that. Eleven? Aww. Fuck that one up. There's two others There's there. There's two more if you want to try. I try. I got a net 20 to 21. Okay. So this time you figure out how to cut it correctly, and you do that <laughs> just as the guards arrive. <laughs> <laughs> what in the holy hell is going on here? They attacked us. We were defending ourselves. They, they yeah. wanted it, and they said I had to... Um... And they ripped her clothes off. Yeah, look, they just raped me. I mean, come on. This is a good city. You don't see this shit. Is this how you treat your ladies in the city? I mean, start We're throwing like... elbows and shit, so... I, I, I stabbed guess... her in the boob with a dart. That's true. They, they recognize that immediately. They pick up on that because they're trained observers. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're because they're like... staring at her boobs. They're just like... <laughs> Wait, is that a... <laughs> uh, Daphne, where do you keep your Adventurer's Guild pin? My hair. Okay, like, that's fair. My horn. Uh, the guards notice Zidar and Camille prominently displaying their cacophony pins. Uh, and they notice that you have a hole in your boob. Uh, they'll go ahead and dwell on that for a couple minutes. Uh, because, you know, they... They're going to ask you if it's poisoned. <laughs> uh, They're hoping that it is. <laughs> uh, Zadar and Camille, they will obviously recognize you guys uh, from prior exploits. Daphne, once they get to your face, they'll probably recognize you as well. Uh, they ask what happened. What? Rape? What? Huh? No, we came up, they, we were trying to go to the fair, they got they aggressive. They tried to get her they into ripped the her alley. Clo yeah, they ripped her sh clothes off, and it was on. Uh, they tell Daphne, uh, if you could, please throw on that cloak. Uh, there's kids up there, we can't have you just parading your naked self all over the place. Uh, so what do you want us to do with these guys? Properly bury them? To their... Are we close to the dock? We could feed them to the fish. You're on the far side uh, of the dock. Are there <clears throat> pigs here? <clears throat> I'm sure there are pigs here. A la Deadwood. <laughs> That's true. The <laughs> woo. <laughs> That's right. Mr. Send them to woo. Uh, okay. Uh, do you guys want to search the bodies first? I or no? say yes. Can yeah, we check yeah, their we'll, persons we'll out first? Uh, each one of you roll a d20 indicating the one that w attacked you each initially. 19. 11. 6. Uh, the 6 finds a small vial. The 19 finds uh, a scroll. And uh, the other one finds gold. 5 gold. Nice. Daphne the scroll points out uh, that these guys are the in the Ta Moon order. And the rest of the paper has been cut away or torn away. Mm, mm. Must be on the side. <sighs> uh, give give me an investigation check <laughs> to see if you can read the tops of the letters where the cut occurred. Well, no, you mm. cannot tell what the missing fabric is. Uh, Camille, uh, the vial is pale blue. Do we know what it is? Nope. Pale blue, we pretty much know what it is, but you could take your chances. <laughs> Lick it. All right, I'll take it. Your blood on it. With their blood on it. Oh. Nine hit points back. Yes. See? I needed that. <laughs> yeah, seven. Seven on an eight. Uh, okay, the guards start to pile up the bodies. Oh, this cloak looks salvageable. <laughs> uh, you guys can continue on into the market area now. Okay. 
So we do that and we clean up and then try to. As you go into the market area, which you are all very familiar with, uh, the people kind of push back because rumor has already started about some kind of an altercation uh, and uh, nudity and uh, blood. Uh, despite your best efforts, you will not be able to uh, clean up enough. As you look around the jumbled sea of humanity, you fail to spot anyone that appears to be a magician of any type. Uh, initially, however, you see a man in a leopard print thong, uh, and he appears to be lifting heavy weights as a bearded crab lady looks on. Um. I will take investigation checks by all three of you. Okay. <clears throat> Why? Oh, I thought, I thought it was the one. It's still 11. I have a plus four oh. and I just roll so low. Nine. <laughs> I rolled a 23. Nice. Zid Zidar, you notice that the arms of the crab lady are clearly not real. Uh, they're right. really these stage <laughs> props. You also notice that the weight seems a little bit off as when he drops it, it doesn't make the proper amount of. Studying. Uh, as you attempt to go ahead and describe this to your counterparts, uh, an individual wearing a, a loincloth steps up with a torch, spits into the torch, and a flame ball erupts at you. Uh, everybody go ahead and give me a DC check as you step back from this creep. <clears throat> Uh, 19. Seven. Sorry, what check? Dexterity. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Daphne steps back and gets a handful of ass grab. Give me an insight check, please. Where is it? Sixteen. Uh, you manage to slam your butt cheeks shut and <laughs> catch the hand of the little urchin trying to uh, either uh, cop a feel or try and grab a non-existent coin purse. <laughs> As you do so, Zadar and Camille, you notice more people dressed in these strange silk outfits as before. Oh. <laughs> they appear to be helping the performers. Uh, give me an insight check. Oh, okay. Man, I need new dice. Three. <laughs> Seven. Uh you can garner no reasonable information from these two. Daphne, as you feel the short stubby fingers protrude along your butt crack, you slam your ass shut, and <laughs> the young lad who looks gnomish uh, squeals in pain as you attempt to break his fingers like walnuts, uh, and he drops to his knees. No, 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 no. What would you like to do with this gnomish individual? crush him you're like sir you owe me money <laughs> these sorry. are expensive <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't have any money then you owe me your life jesus christ i am but a poor gnomish child named thad thad <clears throat> i don't know why i picked that name do we know what's go do, do we see this uh, you do now. Uh, okay. uh, apparently, Daphne is a ventriloquist doll for the gnome child. Oh, hey, Daphne. I'm Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask him if he knows about this magician. Yeah, I, I hold up the, 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 the head. head. Is and this I'm it just or like, is this it? This? This? He this. was taller. He was taller. This? He was there he is. That's him. Uh, actually, Thad will point out that uh, he saw... Uh, an individual that looked just like that. Is that the guy who works at the Grand Academy and is currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony? Yes. yes. I don't yes, remember what his him. name is, though. That's okay. We know who it is. Uh, yes, he was here earlier. Can she let go of my fingers? Only if you help us find him. 
Oh, Put this I, he, on. he's dead. What do you mean he's dead? See that thing over there? And he points out to a guillotine looking thing. Right. He, uh, he volunteered to, uh, help the wizard out and, uh, chopped his head off and turned him to wood. <sighs> Lord. <laughs> What is the... Can you show us the wizard? The average uh, IQ here must be five. <laughs> you're at a fair. <laughs> I'm like, so Walmart, um, come on. I'm like, where is the body? Oh, I don't know. There was a big puff of smoke, and the body was the only thing left. And then the the wizard lady gave it to some kid, and I really wanted it. Can I have that head? No. no. Would Not you give yet. me a head? Okay. No. Uh, not where he, you got your fingers at. <laughs> are, are you releasing him from your butt grip? I I think you should drag him around with your ass. Hold on his hand before I release it. You do what with his hand? Put like a rope on it, you know, like a leash. Sure, okay. <clears throat> and then I release his hand. Ah. Lick it, <laughs> tastes better. <laughs> Not through that silk, it won't. Uh, <laughs> he looks over, holding up the leash, and goes, You're coming with us, boy. Well, she's right over there. Well, let's go. <laughs> uh, you see a large crowd. Uh, it's a little bit on the sparse side, but it, it's growing in intensity. And there's a small, a well-dressed gnome in mage apparel uh bows to the crowd and the crowd begins to fling coins at her feet uh, apparently she has just performed some magical feat there are two silk wearing sons of bitches on the left and two silk wearing sons of bitches on the right <clears throat> well let's not start anything this time <laughs> so so he leads you up to where the semicircle of people are at yeah and of course, he's a kid. He, you know, she's right there. Right, right. So, do we catch her attention? I mean, no, she's she sees... picking up coins. Okay. <laughs> I ask her if I can help her pick up her coins. Just go for it. She'll get our attention then. Oh, I, no, you can. You know what? If you want to help me, you can throw more. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'll be here all day long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to ask you a couple questions. So you're gonna cut through the crowd and interrupt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she continues to uh, pick up the coins and she goes, I'm actually very busy. I'm right in the middle of a show. What can I do for you? I'll hold up the head. <laughs> Did you kill the boy that had this? No, he's right here. Hey, let her do her fucking trick, you asshole. Oh, the other guy. No, no, no. We're, we promised to get this to her. Hey, we want to see magic, you sons of bitches. Leave her alone. She's got <laughs> her goddamn money. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Daphne is distracting the crowd with her uh, boob injury. <laughs> uh, the lady actually uh, figures out that you are looking for Mortimer, and she goes, oh, you are the ones I was told to wait for. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear you God. are friends of uh, Mortimer, Mortimer J. Sneed, professor at the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> she reaches into a pocket and pulls out a piece of paper and goes. <laughs> uh, she picks up a bowler style hat and puts it on a small table and goes, I was told to do this for you. Uh, we're in front of warehouse we're in. What? Yes. It, yes. It's the sorting hat. Uh, instead, she goes, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Flemish giant. Uh. And the bowler rips apart as a huge fucking nine foot tall rabbit emerges out. Cereal crusher. Its eyes turn to you and glow red. And the lady just uh, <laughs> backs up. Daphne, you feel a tug on the rope. The kid is getting the fuck out of here unless you oh. hang on to him. Uh, you to him. <laughs> ah! Ah! maybe he'll eat the kid the crowd yes. freaks out uh <laughs> the creature appears to be made out of white wood and glowing embers for eyes uh it 
hops as it crushes the bowler and the small table. And as it lands, the cobblestones shake. Everybody roll initiative as the half panic stricken, half in awe crowd can't figure out what to do. <laughs> Seven. 15. 14, 15. Ten. Uh, Ten. Fifteen. Camille, uh, this giant nine-foot monstrosity fucking construct is getting ready to stomp the shit out of you guys. Uh, the kid. It's uh, Trix. <laughs> <laughs> Trix the rabbit. Silly rabbit. Awesome. Camille, you're up. Uh, oh, it's for kids. <laughs> <clears throat> None of this is helpful. Definitely not fog cloud is helpful at this point. Yeah. Oh. Well, it could be. <coughs> hmm. No. Uh, I'll try Ray of Frost again. We have a sure. giant carrot. Oh, nice. <laughs> Fortunate, unfortunately, uh, Thad is not a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Carrot top. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ta-da! I'll be here all night long. Okay, 20 to hit. Uh, damage, damage, and you have no modifiers. So. Okay, so... Okay. This is such an odd fish game, I think. It is. It is. 28, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nicely done. Nicely done. Not nearly enough to Yeah, damage. I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> this construct is huge. Uh, Daphne, tugging, tugging, tugging. Dad wants to get the fuck out of here. I move the kid in front of me. Can you lasso him around the thing's neck? Yeah, oh, like, can I, like, I give the rabbit the kid, essentially? You can throw the rope and see if it attaches to one of his uh, planks, because he's made out of wood. Because, you know, child killing in an RPG game is always hilarious. Right. <laughs> we don't get Murder Hobo Inc. name because we're nice. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to try and lasso yourself Trix Rabbit, go right ahead. Would that be? Uh, attack with uh, Dexterity as your modifier. Daphne is now Wonder Woman. <laughs> the lasso of truth. Um... Well, wait, what? Twelve? Hits. Strangely enough, this thing has an AC of ten. It has an ass load of hit points and does a lot of damage, but it's easy to hit. Uh, so how much, or so you throw the lasso around it. Uh, how long is your rope? How long is my rope? Uh-huh. Oh, I don't know. Probably 50 feet. At least 20 feet, right? It's at least that. Yeah. Uh, so you lasso it around the neck. Uh, the far end lashes itself against it. Thad is jerked off his feet and goes up into the air. Uh, Zadar, mm -hmm. you beat the seven I rolled. Uh, better hurry because when this thing hops, hippity hop. Hop. Yeah. It, I'm gonna it, Easter it, pop your ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to attack with the scimitar. So okay. I'm gonna gonna try to make two attacks. Sure. Uh, the first one's a 26 to hit. Ten. Ten is all you need to hit. Easy yeah, I to know. hit. Uh, that would be a big whopping seven points of damage on that. Uh, the offhand is gonna take a swipe. Uh, 16. And a big whopping seven points of damage on that, too. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, hippity hop. Let's do the Easter pop. Uh, it's going after four. Daphne. Who plus eight is ten. I'm assuming that does not hit. No. Does a 10 not hit? However, you hear, oh, as Thad goes whipping around as the Easter Bunny jumps and attempts to smash Daphne into the cobblestone but fails miserably back to the top of the order. Camille, uh, Trick's Rabbit ain't playing. Uh, he means business. And you can see Thad 
doing his best George of the Jungle. Whoa! <laughs> he starts to wrap around uh, said bunny. Poor kid. <laughs> Put the bunny back. Mm, I got <laughs> 15 to hit. That hits. Okay, I'm going to do Ray of Sickness. Okay. Oh, nice. Two, well, eight. That, I'm good. Going for okay. the second level spells. <laughs> 13. You just like set the wood on fire when it just burned. That's what I'm saying. Does anybody have fire? Fire bad. I'm <laughs> sure Thad will not appreciate being cooked alive on the bunny. No. <laughs> Welsh rabbit. Uh, Daphne, you are up. Thad is halfway around the head. Ah! <laughs> Screaming. Oh, uh, FYI, the rest of the crowd has figured out this is not part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody scatters. So Daphne, you're up. Uh, including the the gray robed uh, Tom Moon people that were in the crowd. No, 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 no. They were wearing colorful silks. Like oh, the colorful gray silks. Moon. They they have not shown any Tom Moon robes at okay. this time. Okay. Uh, so Daphne, you're up. Oh, and the gnomish female wizard has not run either. She is panic stricken. <clears throat> she truly does not know what she's doing. Nope. What do you want to do, Daphne? I'm going to do my <laughs> channel of divinity, the sacred weapon. Okay. Okay. And then I go to attack. Okay. Good. Oh, so many things to read. Good boy. Oh my gosh, I keep clicking through things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like having so many problems. Um, like, 14. Oh, yeah, 14 minute hit, right? Yep. This thing has a shitload of hit points. <clears throat> Yikes. Which is weird. I think it has more hit points than a flesh column for some reason. Wow. <laughs> All right. And seven damage. Seven damage. Very nice. Uh, this time the bunny won Zadar. Uh, anger. Ah. Uh, uh, Thad has now made it around one rotation, and because you lashed his hand, there is no way for him to escape. Ah! <laughs> Help me! Oh, Thad, that is a 9 plus 8, 17. Uh, again, Zadar? Yeah. Uh, 17 just hits. 2d12 plus 4. Holy crap. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, seven plus four is 11. Still? <laughs> Holy shit. And this is only a challenge three. This isn't even, oh, this isn't even the deadly encounter. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, as that goes spinning around. Uh, Camille, you have seen your associate take a brush with death. You are up. Thad, can you kick it in the eye? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Uh, uh, urine is spraying across the crowd. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so question. So I did Ray of Sickness last time, and it said after that, must make a constitution saving throw on a failed save. It's also poisoned until the end of the next turn. What does that mean? Uh, I would be poisoned, but I would get another saving throw. Okay. Uh, and that's a four, so you can do another sickness roll and still get an attack. So what do I roll? My... You, you roll the damage for the ray of sickness. Okay. And then you can make an attack. So seven damage. Okay. And I get 13. Uh, that hits. And another two damage. That's good. Uh, good news. Your shout to Thad has resulted in a nat 20. Thad has heard you. Let's see if Thad can kick out an ember. With a three. He cannot. <laughs> Daphne, Keep you are... Keep trying, Thad. 
Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Daphne, you're up. 15 to hit. Uh, six damage. Oh, you guys are whittling this fucker down, that's for sure. Zadar! Uh, what I want to do, I know if I roll horribly, I might hit Thad. <laughs> it's okay. Eh. How Thad old is, is an NPC. How old is he? Oh, shit. Uh, he's a gnome, so he's probably 14. Oh, yeah, man. Fine. He's old enough to fetch beer. Oh, well, okay. There we go. That'd be a shame. Yeah. I could use, uh, you know, a little porter around the uh, event, Stout. adventure yeah. zone. Yeah. Oh, okay. that is an idea. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a shot at the ember. He could eye. go my bathtub. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. It, this ain't going to end well. <laughs> oh, man. Getting a Please. real Ghostbuster vibe off this. Okay. <laughs> when a bunny s if you're a god, say, say yes. yes. 23. On, Ray. Yep, that got him. Okay. And let's see. Uh, six points of damage. Oof. You guys are hurting him. Okay. Yeah, I give you credit there. But it's my turn. And the bunny says six. <laughs> Five plus eight. On 13. Zadar? On Camille. Oh. Son of a bitch. Top of the order, Camille. <laughs> you're up. Uh, Thad. Uh, Everybody give me a perception check. Okay. All right, 16. Mm, Seven. 11. Uh, only Zadar notices that Thad <laughs> is trying to cut the rope. off? Yes, no. he's jacking, he's jacking <laughs> off on the rope. He's cutting the rope with his okay. knife. Uh, Camille, you're up. That's how he's going to attempt to blind him. <laughs> so. Ooh, That's right. Numbers. Well, oh, I man. figure if I do this correctly, I'm going to cut the rope right as I'm coming after one of you three. <laughs> 20. That hits. Mm, we'll do. <clears throat> mm, ray of sickness again. Okay. Mm. Four. Uh, Daphne, you hear, oh, as Thad's coming around, uh, but the bunny looks ill. <laughs> I actually don't hit this time. I got a nine. Wow. You careen off the wooden kneecap. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, I am going to take my bonus action to kind of uh to to move out of the the bunny's field of vision and then attack so yeah. all right that way i get the sneak attack benefit sure. so all right uh first one <laughs> 17 it's okay that that strike hits it for uh eight points of damage okay next uh, that that's it for my action. So. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if that is successful. Come on, Thad. Nat 20, that is successful. Cuts through the rope. Uh, one, he heads straight for Zadar. Two, he heads straight for Daphne. Three, he heads straight for Camille. Four, he heads right for the guards coming up behind you guys. Yeah, he's not <laughs> for me. That is a four. Uh, Thad bowls over <laughs> all four of the guards as he flings himself like a little <laughs> cannonball at them. Uh, your help ain't coming till next round. <laughs> the bunny is extremely pissed, and the bunny is going to go after three. Daphne. Uh, ten plus eight. Eighteen. And hit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> five plus four is nine. Nine a damage? Yeah. A two and a three. 
And then I do my Hellish Rebuke on the wrap. Okay. How much? It is... If I get to it... Uh, 12 damage. <laughs> The bunny begins to fall. And he must make a deck saving throw. Oh, okay. Oh, you got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a three. He's not going to make that. Uh, he is headed for Zadar. Zadar, give me a DC 12 or be crushed by the flaming wooden bunny. Bunny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 19. Uh, Zadar tucks and rolls in uh, complete Joan Jet fashion, Dude. rolls out of the way as the giant bunny shatters, sending shards of wood everywhere. <laughs> uh, you guys all see the local townspeople scared and looking out from their cubby holes. The heroes uh, got it. And we, we right take here. a bow, and it's just like, Thank we'll you. be here all week, Thank you. folks. Thank you. <laughs> Keep One of the guards grabs a hold of Thad and drags him off. Uh, the Later, other three, Thad. <laughs> the other three guards come up to you, recognize you from your insignia, and ask, "What the hell just happened?" The little magician casts a spell, and next thing you know, twelve foot bunny. Bunny out so. of the hat. Yeah. I put a cup uh, on the stage. You what? I put a cup on the stage. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Somebody may put something uh, in it. <laughs> you, get, you get 21 gold. They're flinging coins at you left and right. Nice. Uh, you also notice that Margot, the wizard. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, she cast it. <laughs> you what? I ask her if she wants to go on a date. Is she cute? I don't know. All ladies are cute. Me. No. 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 But does she uh, have big boobs? She's a gnome and she's got a six charisma. She's well, got a she mono still boob. Have big boobs. <laughs> she's the, got that. <laughs> she's got a beard, but it, it hangs from here. <laughs> so it's you know, it's the triangular beard. Tennis. That's right. She's got it connected to her hair and a pigtail. Yeah. <laughs> Pigtails. So she's not very attractive, and she is rather stunned uh, because... But what kind of tongue does she have? Well, it's her charisma is six, so apparently... We don't care about... I mean, maybe it's bifurcated. Outside. There you go. You know what? I'll give you another roll for skills. Wow. All oh, <laughs> All right. She's more of a friend <laughs> put her in the friend zone area uh, Go ahead. <laughs> Margot the Magnificent is stunned she's out of it she, she does not understand Margot what the fuck I, I, yeah I go to her I said obviously you don't really practice magic do you uh, she confirms that no she is not she only knows a few cantrips and she uh, joined this troop of traveling entertainers uh, a month ago and has been practicing her craft uh, she will tell you that <clears throat> the bowler was not part of her act and was given to her by an elegant lady as a gift so why did you say Mortimer J an elegant lady uh, the elegant lady told me to see if I could have Mortimer J. Sneed put the hat on for my guillotine trick. Is this lady single? The gnome chick with a six oh, charisma? Elegant no, the elegant lady. I, uh, Did she give uh, you her name? Yeah, can we go meet her? I think we already have. <laughs> Is it uh, persuade me. All of us? Uh, Daphne first. I so graciously rolled a seven. I tried real hard. <laughs> it's like real bad flirting. <laughs> yeah. 
You still can't get over the bearded face. Yeah. Uh, Camille yeah. and Zadar, I'll let you try and persuade her as well. Yeah, Z- Zadar steals herself and is like, you know. Uh, persuasion. Fifteen. Okay. Twenty for Zadar. Uh, Zadar will have a little bit better luck. Uh, she will say. Uh, I don't know the elegant lady. I don't know what the elegant lady's name was. She told me to find a professor looking type named Sneed. And she cre she created this contraption by pulling it out of the hat and told me to put the hat on the professor and drop the blade. And he turned to wood and I gave, I gave the head to some kid, right. and then I gave the body to the tavern owner because he wants to make a cigar store Indian out of him. And so How, why did you keep the hat? Because I was told that some of the professor's friends might show up, and I was to do welsh rabbit and she's really just out of it awesome but we still let me ask head. you to, this so and think about her. it did she walk towards the tower when she left <clears throat> no she walked towards the inn okay well we need to go find the rest of the body yeah well the which Rick- tavern uh the richtoven why don't you come with us? We'll buy you a drink. I do not know. Seriously? Mm. She's not cute. She has no skills. What are you doing? We're just bringing her along. You know. Uggos so need love, too. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. She, she is going to pass on your gracious offer. She has to clean up, and she is not yet off the clock. And she's wearing okay. her brown pants. Okay. She's wearing her brown pants now. She is. She says. It's brown Wait, pants. The hat's gone? What? The hat doesn't exist anymore? Nope, got flattened by the bunny. Yep. He's back in the box. All right, I just dip her money then. Yeah, let's head to the tavern. Damon. So, I need a I need a drink. <laughs> As you get to the Richtoven Tavern, it is down the uh main drag and on your left it clearly has Richtoven Tavern on it. <laughs> gotta love that sound um so I didn't, yeah i didn't get it muted in time no that's okay that's cool uh we're gonna uh daphne shall we yes link arms we we'll link arms, arms and, yeah. and go skipping in <laughs> i assume camille will follow uh behind you you guys mm-hmm. skip into the richtoven tavern like you are part of the goonies <laughs> uh and as you walk in the staunch smell of cigars is present and uh shall we say the clientele is a little bit on the iffy side if you had to describe the atmosphere it would be brown okay so we go skipping up to the bar and just like drinks please (laughs) uh perception uh by all three of you i will roll for camille camille doesn't see it 21. You uh, Both Daphne and Zadar notice the headless Mortimer J. Sneed statue is behind the bar, and they have precariously put a platter on his neck where the head would go, and there are four beers holding the platter in place. <laughs> okay. I see how this may go. So, uh, yeah, does the barkeep come up? Oh yeah, he looks at you. Okay, and I let's, put. Let's I see. put the. He likes Zidar. Hello there, Missy. How right. you doing? And his breath smells a lot like raw sewage. Oh, oh, it's just like, I'm doing good. Two, please. And I put the head on the table, <laughs> on the bar, and I'm just so like. So you want a pair of drinks? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And he continues to just... Is he eyeing me or Daphne? <laughs> he's eyeing your boobs. 
He does not notice that the head is on the bar. Okay. Uh, so the eyes and the body. And I, I kind of raise his head up. It's just like, oh, hey, uh, how much you want for that head? Well, I've been looking for a little head. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's your lucky day. <laughs> Could be yours too, there, Missy. <laughs> Could be. Um, yeah. So, what size I... is your penis anyway? Ah! Wow. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> When's the last time? More, I... more than enough for you three. When was the last time uh, every, I had a bath? <laughs> oh, it ain't Saturday. Uh, <laughs> everybody go ahead and make insight oh, checks. Damn it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I, tell, I say, I tell you what, friend. Uh, can Ugh. we get free drinks if Five. I fix your statue? Nine. What are we doing? Insight? Yeah. Okay. I am not that insightful. Neither is Zadar. Five. Okay, so you won't notice that he's full of shit. Uh, yeah. Literally. I'll give you two free rounds of drinks, ladies. Uh, maybe more if uh, we can come to an arrangement. <laughs> I hop on the bar, take my thigh boot, kind of move him to the side, and I hop to, to the statue. All right, you've never the... seen the accused, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this will not end well. Well, <laughs> so so I'm gonna make my way to the statue and remove the platter, put the head in place, and cast mending yes. on the statue. And he does that. I try to flirt with the bar owner, tavern owner. Same guy. <laughs> Bartender. Yeah, why not? You can distract him, Zadar. Give me a D twenty roll. If you roll one, two, or three, uh, you cockeye the head a bit. Right. <laughs> Nine. Uh, okay. I get, been, I get it pretty well. <laughs> yeah, it could have been better, but you got it. Okay. Uh, okay. You fix it, and uh, Daphne, give me a performance check. See how well you flirt. Twenty, but not that three. Uh, you know what? You could. You're breathing, so you'll attract this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, odiferous breath. Uh, it's all that breath. cigar, you know. Yellow he, teeth. He does his seduction, which is. <laughs> Go ahead, put it in the camera, Frank. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, you can tell that this guy is an easy mark. Uh, however, you hear the shuffling of chairs behind you. Uh oh. So, I look, I turn around, and what's behind us? Uh, a bunch of dudes seeing some. Cheap slots. We're going to slut shame you guys. Uh, Come on. These guys are, I told you it was a seedy bar. <laughs> yeah. I, you have been uh, fairly warned. Uh, but are but are they like the religious type for the lo local things, you know, that kind of do the opposite of what their doctrine is? You know, they're almost like, like, like high religion, Catholics like in a bar, church gets left behind. <laughs> But are they really going to slut shame us, or are they going to... Can I try to... They're jealous. And they ventriloquize something from somebody else? Tranquilize? Ventriloquist. Oh, uh, no, you don't have that spell, do you? <laughs> no, I was just hoping you'd let me do it. <laughs> oh, I was kind of hoping yeah. you had it. <laughs> uh, everybody roll insight. Okay. Because I was going to say, I call Wang. <laughs> Eight. But as we turn around, they try to slut shame us. I'm like, guys, some more than merrier. Uh, what is it that's, a, that's a great thing to yell in the bar. You have clearly not been in enough bars, young lady. Because <laughs> that right one, kind. yeah, that one is that one will get you noticed. <laughs> Zadar, uh, what is it? Drink. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the commotion. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that we're rolling? Insight. Against? Insight. Okay. Oh, not very insightful. Uh, 10. 
You guys are not picking up on the fact that there's this is not a good scene of Bruin. God. <laughs> uh, you find yourselves enclosed by the Mr. Tongue, the bartender, Gross. and uh, two of his uh, grueling associates. Let's see if one of them's Ted Bundy. Uh, one of them seems to be a very good looking man. Uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, say frat boy rapist. Oh, what? nice. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, uh, things are starting to get grim inside, uh, Rick Toven's tavern. All right. So I position myself <laughs> facing them and, uh, I'm going to use. Are you wearing a skirt? Because swinging around the bar is not going to help. Leather leather cat suit. (laughs) Oh, that's right. Gotcha. So, no, but uh, I am going to cast a sleep spell again. Okay. Go ahead and roll your dice. All right. Sorry. Takes a second. You know, if you had dice from Pirate Dog Dice... Uh, I, I, know, I know. I'm still waiting for mine to come in the mail. <laughs> should be tomorrow. I'm surprised it didn't come today. You're, you're only down in Tennessee, for God's sake. I know. I could have drove there and picked them up. USPS has been told to slow down to save money, which is a horseshit excuse by the brand new uh, Inspector General. All right. So the pool is 18. Uh, both of the men fall to the ground in slumber, and uh, Mr. Tung uh, takes a step back as uh, the odds are not in his favor anymore. Okay. And I'm going to pull my scimitar and put it to one of the sleeping guy's throat. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daphne and Camille, what are you doing? So, are we close together? Oh, yeah. Uh, Daphne's... Uh, Hanging over the bar, letting her boobs hang out, uh, getting dipshit's attention. And Zadar is right on the other side of the bar with the two sleeping dipshits. And how heavy is the statue now? Uh, It's going to be 80 pounds. Can I do that? You would probably need the assistance of one of your associates. Guys! I'm going to cast Fog Cloud. We're going to grab the thing and get out. Okay. (laughs) And uh, so I take a cue from that. I was just like on on my signal, you know, cast Fog Cloud. And I'm going to do my best honey bunny and pumpkin speech. (laughs) Nice. Nicely done. While holding that that scimitar to their throat, and it's just like any of you motherfuckers move. <laughs> uh, I I think you lost Daphne, but the rest of us caught yeah, it. She's yeah, too young. <laughs> yeah. I am a youngin. Yeah, you're uh, you a have youngin. to watch Pulp Fiction. You have to watch Pulp Fiction. So <laughs> okay, honey bunny. Uh, <laughs> Do an intimidation <laughs> check. Sure. All right. <laughs> And you're doing this before she drops fog cloud, right? Yeah. Nat 20. Uh, hey, I don't want any trouble. For you. <laughs> you, you gorgeous ladies. Just uh, wrestling. Take your take your drinks and get the hell out of my bar. All right. We take the statue, too. <laughs> this is my dream. I turn the scimitar on him. Statue, too. <laughs> Fine. Take the statue. You going to pay me for it? I throw him a gold piece. Oh, silly. I blow him a kiss. Yeah, hey, it's one of the ones that we found. So. <laughs> and I do this. <laughs> so kiss, bird, a gold piece. This guy's not going to be happy with you fuckers. <laughs> I'm guessing you will not be welcome. He's back. lucky we didn't trash the bar. <laughs> you guys are flirting with him. What the hell, man? He didn't do shit wrong. We're not flirting with him. Uh, I'm sorry, Daphne, what were you doing? Uh, Zadar, what were you doing? <laughs> he, got to, he got to see a lot of cleavage between the two of us, and he got a gold piece, so we freaking paid him for it. So. He stole his cigar store 
stooge. He probably didn't even pay for it. It was given to him. Right. So, yeah, I fixed it. Okay, who's carrying uh, wooden Mortimer J. Sneed out? Zadar. Three of them, right? Just like, <laughs> I can carry 150 pounds. Yeah, we, we log carry him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And we make like, <laughs> uh, As you guys walk out the door, he jumps the bar. He's going to wake up his friends. Uh, you get outside. Yeah, you might want to do fog cloud now. <laughs> Poof. Right in the town square? Or like uh, in, in the doorway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that should uh, do that. Uh, across the street, you notice the Inn of Repute. Okay. Ill repute or just repute? Repute. I am guessing our mystery lady is in there. So let's head over there. So we're like... Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> yeah. You're carrying wooden Mortimer J. Sneed hut hutting your way and I, I would just like to take this moment to comment why do we care about mortimer j sneed oh come on he's one of us by now <laughs> yeah you've been a, you've been assigned fine uh, plus we're getting paid so uh, yeah. okay. no nobody ever said we were getting paid yes. if well, fails, we have a wonderful bonfire i'll yeah. have a talk with from under we're getting paid okay okay so as you walk in uh this is the main door uh behind this table right here is the innkeeper uh you hear some laughter and some merriment in this chamber over here do they have baths there do you want to ask no Continue uh, on. <laughs> a scraggly human uh, looks at you and goes hello patrons hello what can i do for you welcome uh, to the end of repute uh, there's kind of a musty, musty, powdery, brothely smell. Uh, <laughs> my father. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, say, so my good man. Uh, it's just like, how much for a room tonight? Ah, uh, that depends on if you want a single, a double, or one of our spacious. Presidential suites. Spacious oh, presidential awesome. suite, Thank please. Uh, I only have one left. We'll take that. Uh, that will be 50 gold. 50 gold? Gee, okay. okay. I pulled out a gold for mine and the 50 gold, uh, the 49 of the gold that we have and say, here you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can go to the top of the stairs in the back and it is... <laughs> it's all good. And it, and it is the first room on the left. Okay. Thank you, my good man. I get the key. Okay. So, and we pick up the statue and we head to the presidential suite. <laughs> he watches you. Uh... I turn D12, around. D D12 against me, Zadar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Six. Uh... Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. I fail. <laughs> Two. Uh, Does he really care? Uh, he, no, he's just puzzled. Yeah. And I'm just... <laughs> She's putting an eye on him as we're walking up the stairs. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay. So yeah, so we make our way to the presidential suite. <laughs> there are there appear to be four doors here. Okay. To the we same go suite. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. No, the, uh, we go to the one that he told us to go to. Okay, you go up the stairs. First one on your left. Mm -hmm. I will take perception check. Okay. Twelve. Uh, let's see, eighteen. Eleven. Uh, Zadar, are you here? Oh, jeez. Uh. <laughs> from the room? or that? Not, that not, not the good kind. <laughs> uh, not from your room, from the room just past that. Okay. Uh, I open our door real quick, put it in, and put the statue on the inside. 
Okay. Uh, you have bunk beds to your right, uh, a nice padded bed straight ahead. You also have an armoire and a chest uh, with a key on top uh, so that you can store valuables if you want. Okay. Bunk beds in the yeah. residential suite? Bunk beds and a regular bed. In the presidential suite. Really? It's a family place. <laughs> but it's the presidential suite. I'm sorry. Where do you think you're at? <laughs> <laughs> well, when we looked at the diagram, I saw the canopy bed, so I thought that's what we were going to get. But Yeah, that's the bunk bed, actually. Oh, that's okay. the bunk bed. Oh, I thought it was a canopy bed. Nope. That would have been a good idea, but no, there are. Uh, that's a bunk bed. You got three rooms in here because... The innkeeper, noting that there were three of you, gave us three beds. Uh huh. He just assumed, huh? <laughs> That's right. He didn't get to his lofty position not knowing shit. We could have all wanted <clears throat> one big bed. Yeah, the snuggle together. Could have. Right? <laughs> sure, we'll go snuggle. That's what we'll go with. <laughs> uh, so you throw the statue of Wooden Mortimer J. Sneed in there. What do you want to do? Okay, I say that doesn't sound so good coming from that room. Okay. You know, oh, it, it, it doesn't sa sound like willful being beating. <laughs> so I wrap a tap tap on the door with my quarterstaff. The beating stops. Does anybody come to the door? Hello. Oh. I, I make a weird wrap a tap tap again. Room service. You want me Yankee or Wanky? <laughs> uh, no, Chris Farley. Wow. No answer. Yeah, that, that one's an obscure one to catch. Yeah, Tommy boy, you got to watch that one. <laughs> With the uh, late Brian Dennehy. No answer. <laughs> Damn it. Rap a tap tap. Land shark. You hear some scuffling inside the room. <laughs> okay. I think we need to be more direct, so we do a cop knock. <laughs> so open the goddamn door. Nothing. The door creaks open. Okay. Inside, who wants to look first? Look first. Uh, Daphne, you look in and you see a horribly beaten Mortimer J. Sneed. <sighs> His skull cap is on the floor, and he's got a great big shiner with blood coming out of his nose. He looks like he's been beat to piss. Oh, gosh. Damn it. Uh, There's so much ladies in here. Uh, so uh, I look in. Do I see the perpetrators, or did they abscond from the premises? Or? Well, you're going to have to look around Daphne. Yeah, uh, I'll do a... Uh, a look Very around. Tall. <laughs> it, it, it's a uh, it's a bigger room. It's a corner room. It's a corner suite. But I'm uh, short. Can I low crawl in? Yeah, you can low crawl in between them. I do that. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. Five. Twelve. Uh, you sneak in. You go right up to Mortimer, and he goes. Behind you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <fuck>. Initiative, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Mortimer. You're lucky he's awake. Yeah, he's I know. Beating the piss out of him. 16. Oh, 15. Camille? Six. 17 wins it. Uh, the dart goes. Again? Camille? The fist goes to two and the fist goes to three uh hi -ya! you hear a xena yell uh oh. as a figure in a gray robe with sigils on it flings a dart at the low crawling camille if it hits it's gonna hit you in the ass i got a big uh, ass 13 plus five yeah that'll hit <laughs> that's gonna hit uh hits you right in your big ass and i think it still just does 1d4 did we do a short rest at the bar, technically? No. <laughs> no. 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 This is a one-shot, girly. We're going for it. Uh, you take four hit points of damage, Camille, as okay. I botched that one. Uh, Zadar, 11 plus 7, 18. Yeah, that does it. And Daphne, 
Uh, 10 plus 7, 17. Does that hit? Daphne? Me? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, so I got you two. Uh, ooh, her fists do 1d6 plus 4. And that is a 3. Uh, Zadar, you take 7. Daphne, you take 7. As she... Hucha! You are fighting a fucking head monk here. Uh, Wait, took seven damage. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm knocked out of <laughs> The one person that could lay on hands, <laughs> and you never think of that. Down goes Daphne. Oh crap! Uh, Daphne, uh, your turn. Oh, you're unconscious. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, I Wait, am. I thought I get to like. <laughs> <laughs> all right so thinking quickly uh yeah i unzip the the cat suit a little more and she's gonna have to do a wisdom save 14 Ooh, i don't think she got that one okay so she is charmed uh, nine plus two is 11. She, yeah. Yeah. She fails. Okay. I'm like, hi, Missy. Uh, Camille, you're up. Oh, God. Um, so how many people are in the room? Just her and Mortimer. Okay. So I don't want to... And Daphne, face down, taking Z's. Okay, she's well, gonna I... look like a raccoon here shortly because <laughs> she's got a busted nose. I can't do anything for her, um, so I try to grab Mortimer and get him out of the room. Actually, you were crawling in, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Give me a perception check. Uh, seven. Uh, no, you aren't gonna see it then. Okay. <laughs> you wanna get Mortimer out of the room? I wanna. Yeah, I want to try to drag him out. I don't know why, but I do. Well, he's on a chair, so if you grab You'll the back of the chair, loose. you can kind of drag him. Okay. Or, or that. You can, or you can cut him loose. Is he able to walk? He's eh, going to be a little bit wobbly. He's got the shit beat out of him. Of course, he's human, so he's going to be bigger than me, so I'll cut him loose. Okay, uh, let's see how he is. Oh, okay. Uh, he's ready to get the flock out of here. Is he um, able to help uh, Daphne? Uh, he dives under the bed. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> in our room or... Uh, in this room. In this room. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, new round. Okay. Uh, She's charmed. So. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, well, I get a, the save opportunity, right? Right. Right. Oh, good. Nat one. <laughs> so she's still charmed. She's it still lasts for charmed. an hour. Does that mean so. she tries to masturbate? Uh, he I has not ordered that. I yet. have not well, ordered no, that. But yet. I mean, if you get a one, you either hit yourself or a partner. So. No. Well, she just failed the the save. She so. just failed this one and the next one. Uh, okay. Sixteen, Daphne, give me a death save. Oh shit! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. An eight. Wow. She's got a, and I I tell Camille she's got a potion on her. Make sure she doesn't die. <laughs> That's one fail. Uh, Camille. Uh, you are up with the, no, Zadar, you're up with a 15. Okay. So you can tell Camille there's a potion. Yeah. I tell Camille there's a potion. Take care of her. I'll take care of, uh, this lady over here. Meow. So, mm-hmm. I'm like, zip it down a little more. Grab her arm in arm. We go sit on the bed. Yeah. I'm just like. So why don't you tell me what's going on? I am gonna <laughs> kick the fuck out of you if I break this. <laughs> exactly. So so yeah, I'm playing with her hair. So tell me, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, she points out that she's about to make a considerably large sum of money. Camille, you're up. What do you want to do? I low crawl over to Daphne and I grab the potion and shove it down her throat. 
Now, hold on a second, Daphne. If you're naked, where are you hiding this potion? Oh crap! <laughs> well, she's got she's got a no, she she's got a she's on. got a pack. <laughs> yeah, just because you're naked doesn't mean you can't have a bag. Or you know, hide stuff somewhere. You're I mean, you're a cop, you know. Uh, let's okay. Maybe okay, it's yeah. like on the end of my tail, you know, like it's where I like tie it on. Like you know, when people have a stick and there's a bag at the end, but it's like my tail. What uh, potion is it? Isn't it? Don't you have a healing from last week? Yeah, whatever you like gave us from the beginning last time. Uh, roll D eight, add two, no ones. Wait, you said no twos. Oh, eight. D eight plus two, no ones. D eight plus two, so eight plus two. Ten. Ten. <laughs> yep, you get ten, ten hit points back. Sit bolt upright. You can taste the iron from the blood in your mouth, and you look around. Apparently, you notice that Zadar's about to get busy with this bitch who about fucking killed you. And out from underneath the bed, a raised arm appears. I have found it. Oh, Jesus. oh she's okay. Mortimer uncorks the potion bottle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, uh, that's a one. Yeah, that's a two. Uh, Mortimer's feeling a little bit better. Still looks like shit. He goes, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Mortimer. Uh, yeah, I, I take the rope and tell her we're going to have a little fun. And I tie yeah. her up. You're going to let this happen. <laughs> Am I? We'll see. Well, no, two rounds. Oh, that's right. Damn mm -hmm. it. Ha ha. <laughs> Okay, tie me up. I tie her up. Tie her up and tie her down. <laughs> okay. So. More, and, and, come, and, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm being nice about it. And it's just like, tell me, who, who was going to pay you this money? Mortimer holds up a bag. I've got the answers in here. Let's go. Mortimer. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mortimer has had the shit kicked out of him. You can take your shush and shove it up your ass. He, he is shouldn't gonna... be able to talk at this point. <laughs> he downed a potion of healing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So he's fine. So, okay. I take his cue. I kiss her on the forehead. She's tied up real good. We're going to leave. <laughs> uh, are you going into the room next door? <laughs> no, we're, we're just going to leave. Oh, oh okay. we're going to recover the, the, the statue if we need. Ask Mortimer, do we need the statue? What statue? Of you! <laughs> she pulled a guillotine act and cut the head off the statue. We thought she turned you into the statue. Right. Obviously, it was a bait and switch. There was a puff of smoke, and I found myself in this room tied to a chair. I So, oh. do we need to get the hell out of here? or I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, so we're beating Cheeks out of here. <laughs> literally, Daphne's literally beating Cheeks. So, uh, Behind you, you hear a loud crash as though somebody has torn up a bed. Uh, you are bypassing the statue for the time being. You run out into the street uh, where order has been restored. Uh, and Margot the Magnificent is still attempting to recover from her losses earlier. Uh, where do you want to take Mortimer J. Sneed? Uh, to the Adventurer's Hall. Yeah. Uh, Adventurer's Guild. Our uh, bungalow. <laughs> who wants to roll against me? What are we rolling? D12? D12. Uh, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Five. Okay. Roll them. Okay. Nine. Uh, you get out, you get down to Margo the Magnificent, and you hear a clatter down at the end of repute. Uh, mm -hmm. There, still with a rope around her wrist, uh, is a very angry member of the Ta Moon Assassins group. <laughs> uh, she takes one look at you guys, sees the crowd of people, and vacates further down uh, away and out of your view. You get Mortimer to the Adventurer's Guild where you secure him. Uh, about an hour later, the rest of your retinue will arrive 
And in that one hour, what would you like to ask Mortimer J. Sneed? Okay. Answers, Mortimer. Tell us what's going on. Why? Why? I mean, aside from the obvious reasons, why would somebody want you dead or apprehended or whatever? And who was it? Pajama girl. Pajama girl? Mm -hmm. But... And he empties the rucksack. Uh, there is one potion bottle left. Mm -hmm. There's a bag of gems, diamonds, worth 600 gold pieces. Oh. There is a jade scroll tube worth 20 gold pieces, and it contains instructions from DeLuca. And, oh, God damn it. And the missive requests that the monks capture, interrogate, and dispatch the troublesome Mortimer J. Sneed and any associates. Uh, he turns pale. I knew this was going to bite us in the ass. So, but uh, who was the guy at the at the crab shack that we that I that I ch took his appearance for us to to leave when we when we had uh, Divil Thivet with us? <laughs> The oh, bar. oh, 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 yeah. oh, the dead guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the uh, boss, the crime boss. Uh, that was the exterior crime boss. Yeah. He was... DeLuca is the big guy, right? DeLuca is most likely the head honcho. The big kahuna, A number one. That's rare <laughs> plane two, by the way. <laughs> uh, the guy that you saw get blown away by the wizard mm -hmm. was Tungsten Platt. Tungsten Platt. Tungsten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tungsten Dibble Platt. was uh, charming him. And I, I, when he got blown back into the place, I took his identity. And, okay. Daphne, what question do you have of the Honorable Mortimer J. Sneed, who is Strangely quiet. Uh, he is deep in pensive thought. I'm asking him a question directly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want. What like, is the essence of life? My dear, the essence of life is death. Everybody life knows that. Death. death. It's the fear of death. Death is the final answer. Therefore, it is the only thing that keeps life going. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I'm in love with Mortimer J. Sneed. That's right. <laughs> Your necromancy paid off. I yeah, I was about to say, it. you found a soul as dark as yours. Now stop hitting him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, Camille, do you have a question for him? How large is your penis, Mortimer? Now that I'm in love with you. <laughs> Did I charm the wrong person? <laughs> Apparently. Well, obviously, all the women that you ever come across bangs him. Fall to your charms. It is my charm. I am but a easy to please individual. Yeah, except you <laughs> leave all of your women behind. Love them and leave them. That's how we go. Okay. Uh, any other questions of Mortimer J. Sneed as Famunda D's nuts and the rest of your associates barge into the Adventurers Guild? Why would DeLuca want you? And why would he want you perhaps dead? Exactly. What, was he the one that, that sent the Cobra? I would have to, to the make the guess that he was. Okay. And I know what? that uh, Arawa is on the mend. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to my skillful botany achievements. Mortimer's, Mortimer's starting to get back into Mortimer. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. And we will end it there as the days of cacophony. Wow, uh, you ended early this time. Well, we aren't over yet because now we do final thoughts. Uh, okay. uh, we started with Zadar. We'll end with Camille. Carrie, final thoughts. I enjoyed that. Um, 
I am surprised yes. that. <laughs> but we had to find out, so. Uh, I am surprised that I have a tender spot for Mortimer. <laughs> Mortimer, third leg Sneed. Yeah, I think we all do. Well, you know. You know that you guys are all playing chicks right now, so that's Mortimer. What takes, that's uh, what it Mortimer. takes. Apparently, Mortimer's angels. Yeah, I was about to say, oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're oh, Mortimer's that's angels. Not, that's true. Oh. He is going to owe you. That's right. Nice. I like that idea. I like that. Uh, yeah, he's our Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, final thoughts. No, that would be Fomunda. Fomunda's Charlie. That's right. Yeah. Or Bosley. Bo he's have to be Bosley. What do you think, Doubt? Wait, is this like the end of our thing? This is the end of the show. This is it. I got this necklace for no reason. <laughs> but you look super cute. Right? Whatever the random one that I got. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got to learn how to play your character a little more at the class. The, you the, got to the learn paladin. how to get the shit kicked out of you. But you have got to remember, Daphne, you've got lay on hands. So I was about to say, do you want to touch me? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, what yeah, I needed I know. it. I like, was like, no, we're not going to get into a fight yet. We're going to go to the hotel room. We'll, we'll do like a little rest. They'll be okay. Yeah, that's that what I thought. That worked out for you. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm dying. Hey, I'm the whole new character. <laughs> well, you know what? Heroes we die. We weren't, gonna, we weren't going to let you die. We weren't going to willingly let you die. <laughs> to, to be fair, I would let you die. <laughs> and last but not least, Samantha Fox. <laughs> oh, you mean me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, we're, uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it must throw, throw a major snafu to you when I start launching control spells at you. Uh, it, you know, it's a crapshoot. It's just like fog cloud. Uh, shit can get real. But you know what? If, and I'll be honest with you, if you do not control me, that bitch she does a us. lot of damage. <laughs> uh, she is an actual true deadly encounter um, <laughs> thank god and yeah i had you guys and i did not even take into account control spells uh, i just thought you know what you guys have not had to deal with a deadly encounter mm -hmm. uh she had five key points and thanks to tuesdays between the rolls i read up on what the hell she was going to do and she was going to kick the fuck out of you guys we already got the fuck kicked out of us because she could do three unarmored or two unarmed i've played or, a monk it, it's yeah. awful <laughs> yeah. and she could do uh disengage mm -hmm. and then she hit could us do again. stunning strike which mm -hmm. i fully planned on doing it but fortunately i killed daphne not really <laughs> uh but yes uh you guys went up against a deadly encounter for once and you managed to come through it mostly intact of course daphne's gonna have to go get a nose job now uh because she got her shit pushed in training day if you haven't seen it so how <laughs> before we get to level up again that's right Oh, for a while. For a uh, while. <laughs> but you guys, uh, you guys did manage to save Mortimer J. Sneed. You have a key to a room with his statue in it. Mm -hmm. whatever, I don't know what like that'll him. do for us. Uh, the biggest problem you have is the Mistress of Pain is still on the loose. And yeah. I would not be surprised if you saw that bitch again. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. You know, I, I, thought it, I thought it went well. I thought you guys performed quite well for the amount of shit i threw at you yeah uh especially the giant rabbit i mean that shit i swear <laughs> that, that was, was a weird that was an animated a huge object. animated object yeah. and it had 80 hit points wow wow but yeah 2d 12 Not plus bad. 4 had i rolled better uh, i would have kicked your ass early <laughs> <laughs> but uh there you have it folks uh the uh saga continues they did manage to save daphne they managed to save mortimer j sneed uh and they are 600 gold pieces richer despite the fact zadar uh paid far too much money for a room that he should have uh remember folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our cool shit it's down there if you want to chat with us 
it's down there. If you want to be on the show and participate, uh, you cannot do worse than these guys or Kyle or anything. You can't. You really can't. Uh, M Hobo Inc., either at Twitter or Gmail, let us know. Uh, don't forget to. Um, I already did that bullshit. Don't forget Pirate Dog Dice uh, for cool dice coming to you soon. And oddfishgames.com. They still have room for their third uh, Gen Con offering. Uh, the tickets are going fast, so please make sure to sign up quickly. Uh, it's free to sign up for Gen Con. Uh, I don't remember if they're charging for uh, RPG with your cat. Join us Saturday night for the campaign. We'll see how the folks in Yaddle do. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. Wash your hands, cover your mouth, wear your fucking masks so we can all have Halloween and wear masks. Uh, let's wave and the producer will take us out. And if you need a cat, I'll be your cat. <laughs> <laughs>